Hello and welcome back to another video on solving lead code SQL problems. In this video, I'm going to solve problem number 1050, uh, which says actors and directors who cooperated at least three times. Uh, this is a very easy problem on lead code and let's directly jump into what the problem says. Uh, so we are given a table called actor director and uh, this actor director table has three columns. One is actor ID and the second one is director ID and finally we have the timestamp. Uh, all these things are uh, integer data types and they have mentioned that timestamp is the primary key column for this table. And uh, we need to write an SQL query for a report that provides the pairs of actor ID and director ID where the actor has cooperated with the director at least three times. Okay. And we can uh, return the result table in any order. Okay. Now, if you see the uh, example here, so here we have an actor ID and director ID and then finally we have the timestamp, right? So we have the actor ID one and director ID one and uh, this timestamp. We are not basically going to use this timestamp anymore because uh, they basically asked us to find uh, how many times the actor and director ID collaborated. So they need at least uh, uh, the pair which collaborated for three times. So we are not concerned about the timestamp here. So we can just ignore about the timestamp and then concentrate only on the actor ID and the director ID. So here we have an actor one who has collaborated with director one. Again, actor one, director one. Uh, so similarly, we have these different combinations here and the output says uh, one and one. So actor ID one and director ID one. This is because uh, only these both have collaborated for at least three times. So here we have one and one, which is, uh, which is one. Uh, here again, we have one and one, which is two. And uh, here we have one and one, which is of the count three. So here they, they, these both have collaborated for three times. And then we have one and two, and then one and two, which have collaborated only for two times, right? Then uh, here we have two and one, and then again two and one, which have collaborated for only two times. So from this table, we can clearly see that uh, this actor and director ID with the uh, IDs one and one respectively have collaborated for three times. Uh, now let's directly jump into the query and uh, see how to uh, how to solve this. So I basically start uh, from writing the from statement. Uh, so we have the table name as actor director. So I'll just copy and I'll paste it here. So from actor director, we need to group by the actor ID and director ID, right? So uh, I'm writing actor and direct. Uh, I'm writing the from statement uh, initially instead of the select statement because the execution order of the SQL query in itself starts from the from statement. So the first statement that gets executed is from and then we'll have where and then group by and then we have having and then select. After that, we have order by and then limit. So this is the basic uh, execution order of uh, the SQL query. So we'll also stick on to the same uh, structure so that we understand SQL better. So uh, you can write any way that you feel comfortable, uh, but this is one of the good practices that uh, we could stick on to. All right. So now we have from actor director. So we need to basically group by the actor ID and director ID, right? Uh, so we are grouping by grouping by the actor ID. So I'll write actor ID comma, and then we are grouping by the director ID. So what it does, right? So we need to understand uh, what this this group by actually does. So I'll just copy this table from here and uh, I'll paste it here. So after I copy this table, right? Uh, so here you have uh, the different combinations. So if I group by the actor ID and director ID, it goes and searches for the uh, IDs that, that, that are forming a group, right? Here we have one and one, again we have one and one, again we have one and one. So this is a group. Uh, so I'll just uh, enter a space below so that uh, it'll it'll be easy for us to understand. And then we have one here and then we have two here. So this is a group one and two is a group. And then we have one and two, which is again, a, which is again the same group, right? So these both belong to a group. So that's why we group by actor ID and director ID. And finally, we have this two one and again two one. So these are the three groups that we have. So now that we have grouped by the actor ID and director ID, we just need to find the count of it, right? So here, uh, after group by, we'll have a condition saying having. So we should not uh, use where condition here uh, because whenever you use group by, you need to make sure 
this group by is being followed by having uh, if you have a where condition after group by it won't work so if you if you deliberately need a where condition it should be before the group by but in this case uh, since we are grouping by and then uh, finding the count of the actor id and the director id we should uh, have this having class here uh, okay so now we need to find the count so in this case we can either choose the actor id or the director id both the things work i'll stick on to the actor id so having count of actor id now if you see the question it says at least three times right which means greater than or equal to three right so more than three times or equal to three times so i'll write greater than or equal to three and what they've asked for so the final output should contain only the actor id and director id so now we'll choose select actor id and director id director id here i'll just get rid of this table and let's run the code okay our answer is accepted i'll go ahead and submit the answer let's see what happens okay so we got uh, this submitted i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching